Hey guys, this is Allie with Tip B at iMuggle on Twitter. Uh, today we're going to look at tweetings for iPhone. Last week we looked at tweetings for iPad. Um, there's not too many differences, so we'll open my uh, Twitter folder here. And as you can see, it's saved where I left off. Um, it does have support for iOS 4, so you can multitask with this and uh, it'll pick up right where you left off. Um, so obviously I was taking some screenshots. Um, let's go back to our general timeline here. And you'll notice that like the iPad version, we have the little checkbox in the top and you have your same timeline on the bottom. Uh, and more, you have your settings, which you can also, you can also access that through just your general iPhone settings app. Um, if we go in here, here's one of the main differences, um, themes. Uh, the iPad version does not have them. The iPhone version does. Um, all of them are decent themes. Speech Bubble reminds me a lot of the original Tweety, how they had um, the glossy ones, then replaced them with the matte. It's very similar, similar to that. Silver is just a lighter theme. Carbon is the equivalent of a lot of the darker themes you'll see. Um, I like the Shadows Evolved. It's kind of like a, a gradient type theme, so... I'll show you what I mean. If I do a tweet, let's type, I don't know, testing. And then people are going to wonder what, but when I post that, it makes a little noise when you post a tweet. You pull it down to refresh. It's got nice gradients to where they're just very light. Um, I believe if someone at replies you under this theme, it turns up green until you scroll through it. Um, overall, the only thing that really bothered me was the lag with the scroll sometimes, but it doesn't seem to be doing it right now. I th there it goes. Sometimes it'll do it a little bit worse than that. Um, I haven't really tested whether it's theme specific. I don't think it is. Um, it just lags a little bit, but normally you're not scrolling through tweets that quick. Here's another thing that I like, and this is something that um, a lot of clients have been integrating. Where'd it go? Gap detection. So if you click on that gap, oh, see if we can get that to go back. Well, either way, you saw that gap there, and if you click on that, it will detect the gap and load anything that uh, you missed. Um, what else do we have in here? We've got built-in push notifications, and you can edit those from mm, further down. I noticed the settings menu is a little bit laggy uh, here. And you can choose alert sounds for push, just your default text tone, which I don't like to use, but some people do. Um, some basic noises. Um, you can edit, edit the badge alerts, sound alerts, and text alerts. Um, Facebook integration. So you can connect that with Facebook. Um, I haven't set it up. I have way too many things authorized on Facebook as it is, so I typically don't authorize Twitter clients. But I know some people do. Um, to me, uh, Facebook isn't meant to be updated nearly as much as Twitter, so I don't typically do that. But um, overall, it's a nice client. Um, let's close it out completely here for a second. Close it out, and we'll show how fast it loads. It actually does load really quickly, um, a lot quicker than some of the other Twitter clients. And then from there, um, let's just, I don't know, go here for a second. Um, it will load right from where you left off, which is cool. Um, so in settings, you've got uh, cache settings, geolocation settings, um, some of your typical stuff, themes, if you want it to auto-refresh, 
Um, I'm not really sure what sound feedback is. I'm thinking that might be when you post a tweet if um, it's pinging like a send sound, how it did when I sent a tweet. Um, under advanced, uh, you've got timeline behaviors. So you can change all those. I do that a lot. Um, change your fonts. Uh, you can change a lot. Um, to people who aren't familiar with Twitter, this settings menu could in itself be a little overwhelming. Um, but I think that's about it for tweetings. Um, check out our contest at the bottom of the page. And... Um, See if you can win a copy of Tweetings for iPhone. Questions, comments, uh, if you want to win a copy, leave a comment below. Thanks, guys.